We begin in Luzerne County, where motorists from Bikers for Justice traveled across northeastern Pennsylvania to honor those who have been wrongfully convicted of a crime. Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey spoke with one woman who's dedicating her life to support these victims across the state. With Bikers for Justice, we're riding freely down North River Street in Wilkes-Barre for people like Deja, who had her freedom taken away for years. I picked this up this morning. <laughs> after being wrongfully convicted for a murder she didn't do. Judge Freeze boss it for my retrial. It took five years for Udeja to escape the prison walls. Those are the flyers I would hand out to get people to come to court. <laughs> but she says she still feels like she's locked up. Being incarcerated, they say that you can become comfortable with that even though you're denied everything. Udeja was freed in the early 90s and says when she was first out of prison, she was denied from jobs, loans, and fitting in with society. Larry finds himself in a similar situation now. I just had to learn how to do everything over again. Like Some people don't even know how to even work after they get out of jail. So you're not going to know how to use a cell phone. And you really don't know how to survive. You don't have any life skills, especially when your life has been like taken away from you at a young age. Both are sharing their stories to help others who are wrongfully convicted get help from the state to get their lives back on track, something the Pennsylvania Innocence Project is advocating for in Harrisburg. It puts a human face to it. it. They give personal details about how they've been impacted, not only by the wrongful imprisonment, but by not receiving compensation. So that when other exonerees finally step out of the prison gates, yeah. he looks so happy. Oh gosh, the day I was... they can have